Welcome back. Singapore will have six self-driving public buses on the roads in Marina Bay and one north from mid-2026. The Land Transport Authority is calling for proposals to operate them alongside manned buses on services 400 and 191. This will test the self-driving technology and help authorities understand how to run such operations. Claudia Lim with more. Amid an ageing driver population and changing travel needs, experts say autonomous vehicles couldn't help address these challenges. Self-driving buses will soon be on our roads, with six of them to be deployed on Service 400 serving the Marina Bay area and Service 191 at 1 North. This bus stop at Media Circle is one of the stops along the route at 1 North. This is where the self-driving vehicles will be tested on their ability to meet operational requirements, such as picking up or dropping off passengers safely. LTA says the two services were selected for their shorter and simpler routes, with 1 North also being a test bit for autonomous vehicles. The initial phase will see smaller buses with at least 16 seats, operating with bus captains on board for safety. Passengers must stay seated and wear seat belts. There will be sections of the roads that may be more challenging infrastructurally or more challenging from a traffic point of view. And, and these are required for bus captains to actually have full control of the situation. But over time, algorithms, and the artificial intelligence will learn. And there will be a face-by-face -face withdrawal to having a remote safety operator. Depending on performance, LTA may add up to 14 more buses and run two more services. This phase approach will help it assess its feasibility and ensure public safety. The National Transport Workers' Union welcomed the call for a proposal. It added that its top priority is for workers to be prepared for a smooth transition through upskilling and reskilling. The contract to the selected operator is expected to be awarded by the end of this year. So what are self-driving buses and how do they work? These buses are considered autonomous vehicles or AVs. They do not have drivers and are equipped with sensors to navigate the roads. These sensors include cameras, navigation systems and tech used to detect light and radio waves. They will send data to onboard computers, which will process the information for the bus to plan a safe route, avoiding obstacles and following traffic rules. Once the bus has made a plan, it will carry out the actions by controlling movements like steering, braking and accelerating. Other countries have already tried to implement autonomous bus operations and these have been tested or deployed in cities in the US, China and several European countries. Experts say there is no one-size-fits-all system. We have seen uh, the use of autonomous bus services uh, in, in, in Shenzhen, for example, and this is something that uh, is possible. The only thing is that this scenario that we have in Singapore will not be the same as that perhaps in China. So, so in this aspect, in the algorithms and the applications uh, of operations would need to be uh, tested for these purposes.